Philanthropy and social change made my life possible. In fact, the first program I was ever enrolled in was Head Start, which initially started as a foundation test case funded by the Ford Foundation in the early 1960s. And so I've come full circle. The idea of Head Start that the Ford Foundation funded was could America reduce the poverty rate among low-income rural and urban children. The Ford Foundation today is focused on reducing inequality in all of its forms around the world. And we work on inequality because of our commitment to democracy. You can't have a high-functioning, successful democracy where there is growing inequality because inequality correlates to hopelessness. A democracy with growing hopelessness is a democracy in decline. And so our mission, which is in part to strengthen democracy, must address the issue of inequality. My book is called From Generosity to Justice, A New Gospel of Wealth. It is a response to Andrew Carnegie's seminal 1889 essay entitled A Gospel of Wealth, in which Andrew Carnegie laid out the paradigm of American philanthropy characterized by generosity and charity and the belief that the responsibility of wealthy men like himself was to give back. Philanthropists need to listen. We need to, with humility, understand that the solutions that we are seeking are found closest to the problems. And so we need to listen to the people who live in the communities, the places, the people who day in and day out have the lived experience, have the ongoing engagement with communities, and who themselves are the people affected by, impacted by discrimination, prejudice, bias, the things that are the root cause of so many of our social ills. I had to get uncomfortable with my own privilege with the practices of elite institutions and systems and structures and, and the ways in which organizations like the Rockefeller Foundation and Ford Foundation operate, exist in the world. Really owning um, the privilege that we all possess and not feeling guilty about it, but asking ourselves what are we doing with it and on behalf of whom? Those are the questions that I think philanthropists have to ask ourselves about our privilege.